Human comes first, people come first, they come after. Woman what about this brother? The same. Man, it feels good to be back out on the streets. We're here in London, Leicester Square. We've got Burger King, AKA Murder King behind us. We've got the screens here. What we're doing is we're showing people the footage that I gathered from the farms that I recently visited for the Uncovered campaign. Today, we're showing people the parent breeder sheds. It's like a pretty hidden part of the chicken industry. The mums and dads of the chickens that end up in the broiler sheds that people eat. So we've got that footage on the screen. We're gonna reveal it now. So people can see. But yeah, we're gonna have people, some conversations with people. Like I think it gives the footage a lot of credibility seeing as I'm the same person who's in that shed there. So they can't really say, well, that doesn't happen here because they'd have to say that I don't actually exist and this place doesn't exist or something. So we're gonna do that outreach and uh, see what we can, uh, see if we can convert a few passerbys. Let's do it. Hey brother, how you going? What's up about this? I went and inside a farm the other night and I got this footage here. Um, so I'm sh showing people. This is a pe uh, see. This is a rooster here. Yeah. Do you know the chickens people eat? I don't eat the chickens. Chi oh well, people who eat chickens. Those yeah. chickens they have mums and dads. Yeah. But we're not. Yeah. So they fer the mums and dads they fertilise the eggs. That's right. And they take those eggs and they hatch into the chickens people eat. These are the mums and dads. Yeah. That's a rooster. He's in the, been in there. He's so like pretty sad, man. Yeah. Eh? yeah I say. Do you know how we can save this? How? When we start talking about human, yeah? Human people, first? No, no. Human first. Well, people first. Man and woman first. Because once we look at man and woman, this is every, every person on the planet. Black, white, yellow, brown, pink. Live once, together in peace. Once we live together in peace, this won't be happening. But because we're so divided, we're doing these things, and now people like you are worried about that, but you're not worried about... How do you know I'm not worried about anything else? People drop, dropping bombs on children by... But I am also worried about but, that. But that's what you should be showing. Why is that? But everyone agrees that that's wrong, bro. Everyone already agrees that's wrong, but not, no one really agrees that this is wrong. I know. Do you know what I mean? Equal opportunities, equal rights for all man and woman. Of course. On, on, on top of this. We go forward. No, that comes first and this comes after. Human comes first, people come first, they come after. Once once we get that sorted out, then we'll deal with these things. But, but in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime we meantime, need to be equal opportunities, we all could, man and woman. What about this, brother? The same. What about this? I don't care about chicken. I don't care about all that. Yeah, and that's a problem with the world, isn't European it? European man that's a problem with the world. into Africa like the plane. Yeah, and that's a problem with the world, isn't and it? They're there now, and now you're talking about people don't care about chickens, do they? People first, I mean, it's always uh, people first, isn't it? Like, uh, the animals will never get a mention, you know? We could be discussing human um, things for the, till the, till the rest of our days, and the animals will never get a mention. It's the thing, who cares about a chicken? He said it, who cares about a chicken? No one really gives a sh about the poor chickens, and that's a problem, so, you know, some people don't have that view. Just because there's other problems going on in the world doesn't mean we can, you know, can't also stop eating chickens, you know what I mean, at the same time. You know, what's also interesting is people care about all the other problems in the world as soon as I show them the chickens. Hey, brother. Chicken is very good for you, man. Chicken is? The yeah. food? What makes you say that, man? Chicken is good, man. You think, does that look healthy to you, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah? When it's cooked, it's healthy. When you <laughs> oh, clean chicken... What's your name, bro? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think it's healthy, bro, eh? Hey? But... Yeah. Huh? Why don't you think it's healthy? You're drinking a Coke, bro. Why do you care about what's healthy? I, I, I don't give a <laughs> you don't get alright, at least you're being honest with me, mate. Everyone dies one day, innit? Everyone dies? So kill everyone while we're here, eh? You're not gonna get everyone to care, but at least if you get some, that's a win. Do you know, um, these parent breeder sheds, they actually debunk the humane meat argument, so these eggs that are fertilised from these sheds, they can go off to a free range facility, they can go off to any facility, a halal facility, um, but they're coming out of 
these eggs are coming from this type of suffering. So it's a good way to get a few hundred people to see the footage, just non-vegans um, stand in a busy, busy street with TV screens. Do you know what they are? They're mums and dads. You know, like chickens that people eat. Yeah. That's a facility for their mums and dads. So they've fertilized the eggs. That's why you've seen the rooster on top of that hen before. So they put them all in this enclosure. They chuck about 10% roosters in. So there's about 8,000 hens, 800 roosters, and they just let them go crazy and mate with them. That's why the hens are all scratched up. Because they snip the roosters back, roosters back talon off so they can't cut them up too bad. But it's just like this enclosed mating facility. Where is that? This is in the UK. That's me in there. Yeah, you, you can, really yeah, 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 yeah. In the UK, bro, yeah. But it's all over the same off. Uh, all parent breeder shed are horrible uh, because they're like forced mating facilities in there. Uh, yeah. So then those eggs, they're fertilized, they go to a hatchery, yeah. they incubate them and they hatch them and they put them in the, the barns and people eat those chickens. So people don't think that they those chickens had mums and dads, eh? It's a dead rooster. Uh, dead rooster just left, left in there just to die. They suffer and die, they suffer slowly and die. Well, they got plenty of space. It wasn't like really. It's just more horrible conditions for them. How like, they, how they let you do this kind of uh, documentary? They didn't. I went in there without permission. Are you serious? They, they won't let me. Do you think they're going to let me? No, I don't know how. There's how no they, way. Uh, there's no way that farmer would let me anywhere near that fit shed, because they don't want people seeing this, do they? Yeah. They, this is a. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be like. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's many. Uh, how many thousands are there? It, this is a small shed. This is 8,000 hens right. and 800 roosters. Yeah. But it's for breeding. Yeah, but yeah, when you yeah. when you see their, their 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 children, the little chicks, they put about 50,000 in the shed. But I'm just showing people this because a lot of people don't know about this part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these how, how it really go, go, come, come up. They last about 10 months, like not even a year, and they're just wrecked. You have to kill them, and then people eat them. People eat them after they've been tortured in these barns. Yeah. There's like second grade cuts of chicken, like they would use it for processed meat. You know, maybe chicken nuggets or something. Yeah, 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 like. <clears throat> yeah, man. Suffered bird. Yeah, man. You're from Australia? Yeah. yeah. I come here to expose the UK. Yeah. Australia's no better. All the countries, I don't know, where were you from? Estonia. Estonia, I don't know about that, but I guarantee you, yeah, same you take in the, <laughs> yeah. when you get birds in a barn, this bird's a factory farm, it's a fact. Um, it's always suffering, always dead birds on the floor, crap everywhere, they're living in their own excrement, no dying. Daylight. No daylight. Rarely. No, they'll get daylight when they go to the slaughterhouse. I used, but, to, be, uh, I used to be vegan for two years. Yeah, why did you stop? Uh, I don't know, it's just my, uh, you know, my, back to my culture and everything. And, Social you know, pressure and... Uh, no, 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 not like that. It's, um, I, I was in Estonia, you know, but it's cold and you eat uh, only vegan food. I, I felt like, whoa, it's... it's yeah. Too cold. Maybe you, yeah. you weren't eating enough calories? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Because, like, vegetables and... I eat, like, a lot of, like, bread and beans and, like, yeah, yeah. vegan burgers and, yeah, like, yeah. you know, I eat a lot of... Pizza, pizza, like, yeah, yeah, so... I mean, being vegan, it just means like it's not necessarily a diet, although a lot of it is diet. It's just a principle that you're against exploitation, cruelty, killing of animals. My friend worked in Australia in a lamb farm where he um, uh, he killed like three thousand with electric shock in the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy dude. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the movie Dominion? No. It's here, bro. Uh, it's the biggest expose of Australian farms. Um, it's insane, dude. What makes you do, uh, start doing this thing? Oh, well, I went vegan for the animals, and then I just thought, if I believe that it's wrong to harm them, then I should at least try to help them out of their suffering, you know? Because yeah, not many people speak about the animals. Uh, they want to focus on the humans first. Yeah. But that, most of the suffering on Earth is happening in animal agriculture. This is where most of the cruelty is happening on Earth. It's the most immoral thing we do as a species because the numbers are so big. Talking trillions of animals if you include sea animals. The mums and dads. When you think about that chicken, they had a mum and dad and they suffered as well. There's also grandparent sheds which uh, the mums and dads come from. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just so much hidden from people. They, but a lot of activists and vegans don't even know about the mums and dads. I used to focus just on the chicken sheds but not the mums and dads. But they'll go to probably get gassed in a gas chamber or something. 
yeah. Than, uh, than the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's crazy, bro. Right, you did the right thing, man. Thanks, All brother. What's your name? Joey. Joey, Casper. Casper. Good yeah. to meet you, Casper. All Take care. Best. He learned about the mums and dads. See, a lot of people don't know. I mean, I didn't even know about mums and dads till a couple of years ago. So, it's very interesting. Um, how much down the line is actually hidden from people and the mums and dads, these parent sheds are always horrible, always. I've heard stories, they're always horrible. Now we've got evidence. They just suffer so much more in there. They're just, ah, oh, they're being sort of sexually exploited, enslaved and, and their reproductive system exploited and, you know, just males in there, force mating them over and over, scratching them up, dying on the floor. It's a horrible place. So where do you get your chickens from? Yeah, but you don't even know where they're raised. You know, I mean, you're falling for the propaganda a little bit, like.